and I often say that when I sing, it feels funny to the pastor of the man that can pastor you. And this man can pastor me any day. In fact, if y'all want him, I, I'll, 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 I'll let him do it now. He <laughs> said, <laughs> 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 but, he, but he's highly respected, highly loved, greatly loved here. And I thank God for the deposit that he's made in my life and the deposit he's made in my congregation. It's invaluable. It's something you can't pay for. So without, I'm going to say in my old church, without further ado, the next voice that you will hear is the, my spiritual papa, my daddy in the gospel, and a daddy to me of us. Elder Tim Lee is going to bring the word to us today. And I'm going to ask you to listen attentively. Let's stand and give the Lord a uh, praise God. It really means 
don't forsake the man mm. of your mother. Mm. Woo -hoo. Mm. Uh -oh. For they shall be an ornament of grace unto your head and chains about your neck. Mm. Jewelry. Not, not that other chain. <laughs> My son, if sinners entice you, mm. consent you not. Just say no. Mm. My son, walk not you in the way with them. Mm. That's those sinners. Mm. Refrain your foot from their path. Don't choose it. Mm. For their feet run to evil. Mm. Literal ruin in every way you can imagine. Okay. There are a lot of scriptures that I can add to that. I chose not to, to be brief. I could say like the prophet. The fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth. Mm. I said on edge. Mm. Let's say it that way. When we talk about serving the Lord and walking with Jesus and doing the will of God and worshiping the Lord and glorifying God and praising Him, I'm hoping that we're doing all of the above and more in the context of understanding why God wanted to have a human family in the first place. Mm. Mm. And what he expects on his return from it. Mm. Hello? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Very interesting. The family is the Lord's plan. It's the only social institution that's present in every village, every tribe, every nation throughout history. Mm. The nucleus called the family. He uses families to raise children who in turn learn to raise the next generation. Yeah. No big, nothing shocking there. That, that's common information, common understanding. And that's true. If that's no big thing to know and discover, how come it's so messed up? Mm. 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 I mean, such a simple thing. You can't find anybody on planet Earth who does not understand and know what I just said. Mm. So I simply ask anybody, well then, why are we so messed up? Mm -hmm. Since we understand the plan. Mm -hmm. I'm not fussing, y'all. I'm just black and we get loud. <laughs> when we get emotional. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Come on, somebody. All, right. all, all that means is the steam is up. Amen? Amen. Amen. So I, I want to focus on so let, let me just interject something that's not on the page, and then I'll jump right, right back to it. Because <clears throat> when you're living something, and it's happening, and you're too young to be sophisticated about understanding what it is. Old folks used to say, you don't even miss what you had until you don't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. And that was their way of capturing it. Mm -hmm. so, so, so I stand here before you, a man who was marked by many men. Mm -hmm. I give some honor to my father, and so I do, because he deserves it, mm -hmm. for real. First man I knew. And I was impressed by him in some ways. Mm -hmm. And depressed in others, but I'm going to go there. So don't snatch the couch out because I'm not getting on. All right, but uh, I didn't know it. But when I grew up, if I wanted to see a hero, all I had to do was step out the door. Mm. We had a lot of them in my neighborhood when I grew up. That's mm. beautiful. It's true. Mm. I won't bore you with it, but I can put my finger on it. And if I told you some of the things that these young men had done with their lives, including one, gave his life mm. for 
low-wage young students. You couldn't come in my neighborhood when I was a little boy and mess with anybody. That's the truth. I don't know what street you, you grew up on, but the street I grew up on, I am not talking about criminals. I am not talking about thugs. I cut off. I'm not talking about underachievers. Mm. You could not come in Ted Reed's neighborhood when he was five, six, seven, eight, nine years old and do anything to anybody. Mm. And you know what the thing was? The men didn't have to move. Mm. We used to call them the big boys. Mm. Ten years older than me. Boy, they wipe you up. Mm. Hello? And none of them were criminals. Mm. That's true. I never thought about it. I just enjoyed it. Lived up to it. Got old enough to emulate it. Mm. <laughs> my father was not the only man in my life. All of my uncles on my mother's side were men in my life. Mm. And they were all combat veterans from World War II. Mm. Mm. I had one uncle taught me how to fight, shoot, and ride. Mm. Amen. I never told my mother, but he taught me how to cuss, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I took it for granted. I assumed that everybody experienced what I experienced. Mm. All right? Mm. Okay. I never thought about God's family plan. I just enjoy saying mm -hmm. Father, son. For boys, God uses the father-son training method. You will allow me to elaborate on who's the father and who's the son. Mm -hmm. Yes, biological is great. That's what God uses. But he's not limited to that. And that's why I told you there are a lot of fathers in my life. Mm -hmm. The father who inspired me to develop an intellect worthy to have was not biological. Mm. Mm. All right? But I got it from him, a man who used and developed his mind. I would like to be like that. Mm. I'm five cents short of being stupid, so I got a lot to work with. Mm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Okay. Let me help you out a little bit. Ancient mothers. That scripture I read to you from Proverbs, you do realize that's ancient, don't you? Mm. That's ancient stuff. The writer was speaking his wisdom out of the context of his culture, his experience, his understanding, his learning, his training, his world. Mm. And it was ancient. Mm. Amen? Mm. Okay. Ancient mothers trained their sons for the first five to seven years. After that, sons were trained for work by their fathers. Mm. Men with boys constantly. Before the Industrial Revolution of 1750, fathers always raised their sons. Fathers were present physically and emotionally. Mm. You say, well, well, we got the physical. Well, what's, with the, what's with the emotional? It's, it's, it's something. <coughs> Let's not complicate this thing. You want to know what, what it is? I'm aware and I'm sensitive. Something's going on with you. Mm. I gotta be there physically to pick up something that's going on. Mm. So, so, Chris, how was school today? Yeah. Ah. I could feel it when you walked in the door, Chris. You and Freddie had a fight. Wow. Wow. Freddie, not just somebody to fight. Freddie is a nemesis and a bully, and you'll never get rid of him until you win his book. How many of you know I just told the truth? <laughs> <laughs> a man who's dead. Father of son, I'm picking up. I can tell by the way you move. Mm. Something ain't right. What's up? Mm. 
You were so bad off, you don't stay more than a couple of minutes when you visit somebody in the hospital like that. Mm. That boy would not release my hand. A half an hour had gone by, and he would not let me move from his bed. He would not release my hand, and he hadn't seen his daddy since wow. he was nine years old. Wow. Because he was incarcerated. Wow. And I watched as his mother wept and his sisters wept because they didn't know a man that Cedric cared about. And they were getting embarrassed because he wouldn't let me go. Mm. Every time I tried to leave, he would say, you're going to leave me now. Mm. You're going to leave me again. Wow. Why you got to go? You know what I'm telling you? Mm. He was not being sophisticated in his understanding. Something in his nature, something vibrated in him. Mm. That it is right, it is the will of God, it is natural for me to have a daddy. It has not been natural for me uh, not to have one. Uh, I got my hands on one and I'm not going to let him go. Wow, wow, wow. He yes. don't know what a man came to see about him. Wow, wow. And I'm standing mm. there talking to my Jesus. What? In the world is going on. Mm. Mm. I don't want to hurt this young man's feelings. He's hurt or not, but I can't just stand here all day, mm. and I don't know any more words to say. Mm. Words were not necessary. Mm. Dresses was. Mm. Yes. 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 Okay. I didn't want you to think this was all intellectual, mm. with no real life substance. Mm. The task of men is not simply to raise children. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the task of men is not just to <laughs> make babies. Everybody say amen. Mm -hmm. The task of men is not simply to raise children. It's to equip child raisers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The evil strategy is to lower the man away from his God give a task. Mm. Mm. The Lord is to not be committed to one woman in marriage, but to have as many women as possible. Mm. Hello? Mm. Am I the only one in this world? Yeah. Mm. My God. Hello? Mm. I know what it's like as a young man to be encouraged to be as many women as you can from other men. Mm. They did not have a problem preaching that gospel to me. Mm. Mm. New guy on the job. Young and dumb. You say, why you call yourself dumb? Because I thought I knew everything mm. when I was 19. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> I knew how to raise kids. I knew how to do a woman. I knew everything. Twice. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sure. Mm -hmm. The false pattern of manliness becomes a model for the next generation of boys. Mm. The result is the girls and future families are ruined. Mm. Before I go to the next one, I, I want to give a little light on it. I only refer to the Industrial Revolution. Well, what about history got to do with it? Well, before that, all around the world, in every village, in every hamlet, every son learned the craft of his daddy. Doesn't matter whether he was a farmer or a silversmith or whatever else. When mama turned him loose, five to seven, he worked every day with his daddy. Everything he learned, everything he did, he got from his father. And if his father was not there, was not alive, there was another man who he was an apprentice to. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that man was his father. Mm. If he became a doctor, it's because his father was the doctor. Yeah, that's right. Regardless of how sophisticated medical treatment and care was, or how primitive, didn't matter, whatever he knew, he learned from daddy. If it was military and daddy was a warrior, he learned how to fight from daddy. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Yeah. And he knew how to build a brick house and be an architect. Mm. A designer. He learned from daddy. Mm. Craftsman and artis art artisan. He learned from daddy because that's what daddy was. Yeah. And if he decided he wanted to go on another course for his life, it was only after his apprenticeship with daddy that he decided that's not for me. Mm -hmm. Now you gotta find another daddy <laughs> to teach him what he wants to do. Yeah. Yeah. So you still don't get away from God's plan. Mm. Can I say this to you? Mm. I know you already know it, but I want to say it again. Look, every generation, whether they're born physically or spiritually, are born absolutely knowing nothing. Mm. Mm. Nothing. Mm. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. You said, well, babies know how their mama smell. No, they don't. Mm. Not when they're born. Mm. They learn that after they've been suckered. Mm. Right. Hello. Right. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> smell like mommy, but it smells like food time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're born knowing nothing. So when God set this thing in motion, everything that he had in mind, he intended for those before us to introduce us to what we didn't know. So he created the first man, and the first thing he did was introduce himself to that guy. Uh, wow. Because ain't nobody else going to get it if he doesn't. Mm. Wow. So what about the woman? What about her? She wasn't in the first part of that plan. That's right. I got to get with the man. Mm. Hello. Mm. I'd make that up. When the brother knows me sufficiently, I'll give him what he needs most because he don't know what he needs. Mm. He thinks all he needs to know is me. So my God. And God is like, if I leave him just knowing me, when he died, my world was over. Mm. Oh, shucks now. I'll say it again. <laughs> I don't want it to go over your head. I say, if you die, if you die, if you die, just knowing me, mm. my world dies. Mm. Hello? Mm. And I never intended for my world to die. Mm. That's why Jesus said to me, as I live, you shall live also, and so will my world. Mm. Mm. Uh, I really don't feel like being pious today. I'm mm. feeling it. <laughs> Because I walked among the boys in the dark streets and in the alleys mm. with automatic and semi-automatic weapons. And I watched them respond, not to the Pope, to the man. Mm. Mm. All the preachers told me, you're going to get the people hurt. <coughs> you're irresponsible. You take the folk out there, the fool's gonna kill them. Mm. They were right. If I had been after anybody else's plan, mm. but the plan of God. Mm. Yes, sir. Wow. You don't save society if you don't save the boys. Right. Thank you, brother Bob, for what you do, man. Amen. Yeah. <coughs> no, no, it's not just about. You just know something that you got a heart for. Mm. It was a plan before you were ever born. That's right. Amen. While the Lord is not a marine recruiter, he is looking for a few good men. Thank you for being one. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So the thing broke down with progress. With the Industrial Revolution, the whole world changed. Men who used to be at home all day, working from the home, and working on the farm, and working in the shop with their boys, with their sons, had to go to work now and work long hours. And what 
hope that we discover. Less time, less influence. Somebody say that with me. Less time, less influence. They won't let you bring them out of school and take them on the job with you. You try that, you won't have a job. Is that real? So we gained on the one hand and lost on the other. Work separates fathers from sons or men from boys. So what's the remedy? I mean, don't tell me I got cancer and you don't have a cure. That's if I was happy before I knew it. Just shut your mouth. You don't have nothing for me. You don't have a remedy. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. Mm. Yeah, but then you're real sick. Well, then let me die sick. If you don't know nothing, shut up. Mm. You don't have nothing. Mm. What good did you get out of telling me I was sick? Mm. <laughs> you just made me sicker. Wow. I was already sick. Now I'm sick of you. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. The uh, Lord has called Christians modeled after Christ to have a remedy for what's wrong. Yes. I am so sick and tired of testimonies in church about these last and evil days in this wicked world. I got one question for your testimony, but what are you going to do? That's right. Amen. That's right. If you ain't talking that, then don't talk to me. Yeah, yeah. I could be sleeping though it's messed up. Yeah. <laughs> the remedy is consistently set aside dedicated time for men to boys. Mm. Hello? Mm. No, we're not going to change and go backwards in the development of the world. And we're not going back to mom and pop shops mm. all over the planet. That's not going to happen. We're not going to escape having to go to work. We have a blessing, though, with this technology. A lot of us can work from home. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. But that's not, you know, prevalent. We're away. I have five children, three females and two males. And please don't you think that gender is the only difference I recognize. Mm -hmm. I raise the same people under the same standards in the same house with the same exposure. I got three who look like it, and two, I wonder what the Sam Hill happened. <laughs> oh, really? Do you really? Hello? <laughs> Neither of my sons can claim that they didn't grow up with that. Mm. And don't either one of them won't be like that. Mm. I can handle that if you're talking personality. I can handle that if you're talking skill. I can handle a little bit of it if you're talking intellect. Because they can be smarter than me. I don't care. I don't have to be the smartest man in the room. Mm. Ah, if you're talking God, I can handle it. Amen. Amen. You're talking the wisdom of God. Because see, that's what Solomon's talking about. He's not talking about the wisdom that comes with understanding physics. He's he, he not talking about the wisdom that causes you to know what enthalpy is. Who cares? If you're not a chemist, you don't. Hello? Hmm. If I put you to sleep, I'm going to jump up here and wake you up. Great oh, job. This is too important for you to see. And I'm almost done. To save the boys, men have to be there. Here's our challenge. Here's our challenge. Got to manage the time I have with the reality I live in mm -hmm. to include some time with the boys. Mm -hmm. Consistently. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Consistently. Mm -hmm. Consistently. 
And the boys are not limited to my two. I got boys in my neighborhood. They got gray in their beard, gray in their hair, because I've been there 43 years, 44 years. Yeah. Do you know I don't have to put my trash cans in? I'm just making a point. I never thought about it, Brother John. I never thought about it. Here's what they know. We moved in the neighborhood, it was brand new. Old folks they built from the ground up. I don't know how else we could build it, but anyway. <laughs> and uh, the developer, this is what the boys know, did a whole bunch of wrong stuff. People didn't have salt pump, didn't have screen, didn't have that, no. And he wouldn't fix them. He was done, got paid. Everybody got the bank loan, the developer was gone. And the women were complaining. And the boys couldn't do nothing about it. Mm. So I called them in. Yo, are you here in your house, what I'm hearing in my house? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody got to take the same day off. Where we going, Rip? We going to see the developer. But that's where we going. And we had a brother about, about his size. We called him Chappie. He was a former boxer and all that stuff too, you know. And Chappie said, I'm going to read. I'm going with you. Right. We walked in the office. All of us. Every man in the neighborhood. There's 54 houses in our little hamlet. Every man in the neighborhood. And Chappie folded his arms and leaned against the door, and the developer bit the end of his cigar off. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. My wife didn't call. She'll have called you five times. I told my wife, don't call again. Mm -hmm. He just called for my pit bull. <laughs> right? So the whole wolf pack went up there. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have to say too much. After he bit the end of his cigar off. He's like, I've been working in, in, in the living city. You know, I can't get him off the job. I said, well, if they ain't here in the next five days. <laughs> they were there in three. Fixed the whole neighborhood. Are you hearing me? Yes, I'll give you one more number. Yes, when the seven years olds got to be 15 to 16, they start wolf calling at the women in our little handbag. And brother so and so spoke to me and said, Yeah, get what? I said, Really? I said, Yeah, Frida told me. Little Johnny, she had a little something, something to say, but she was carrying the grocery bag. I said, yo, you hear that? Yeah, man. My oldest daughter and my wife said, you know what? She may about to slap somebody. We looked at each other and said, we know what to do. So we got, got a little thing going on the basketball court. We got a basketball court now. Got all the guys competing, you know what I'm saying? So we had a whole bunch of teenagers. Mm. We set it up for after 3.30. Let them play. About a quarter to five, if your brother walked out the house. Mm. And we walked down on the basketball court from a 360. Mm. And we walked in, and they playing and jumping and moving like flies, and we kept walking in until they didn't have no more room to play. Hey, it's time to talk. You got to know who the leader is. Yeah. Everybody's eyes turn toward the leader. So that's my man. You know, look, he'll be the leader. What are we going to do? Here's what you're going to do. You're going to shut your face as long as you live in this place. Now, his daddy was right there. You're going to shut your face as long as you live in this place. My woman not yours, you better find out how you're going to get your own. Mm. Mm. 
I don't ever want to hear this again because it ain't going down in Maple Village. Are you hearing me? Yeah. And then we never had to do that again. Never heard another complaint. I've been there 44 years. Never heard another complaint. So now they got gray in their beard and then I come out and changing the tire of my car and the boy said, no, 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 Mr. Reed, you don't have to do that. No, those fellow ain't call us. No, 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 I got that. Pull my trash can there every day. I can pull my own. That thing got wheels. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm serious. Men to boys. When the boys become men, they still remember the men who were in their lives when they were boys. But you gotta put some time in. Uh, last one, then I finished this page and dropped the whole thing. And I wrote it this way for racial connotations. The end, because I'm going to end, because it's time to end. Three boys in my neighborhood, twins and an older brother. They, uh, well, this is 40 years ago. They got their first degree black belt, and they caught them. They didn't have a daddy. So who do you think they came to? To celebrate their accomplishment. So they came down to my backyard. That's the ring! And they were doing this stuff. Man, they quit, too. Okay. They young, you know, 16, 17, 18. I'm like, cool, man. Yeah, that's the ring. I said, well, that's pretty good. Pretty good.
Do you understand what I'm saying? If my life and the life of my loved ones are not in danger, I'm never going near it. Mm. Hello? Mm. All right. None of that's on the paper. <laughs> I told you I feel this thing. Boys learn from men to obey Jesus Christ. Mm. I ain't talking about no sermon. You obey the Lord, eventually he'll expose you to them and they'll see that you obeyed him. They learn how to solve the problem the way you solved it, through obedience to him. Mm. That's what makes it real. That's what makes it have credibility to them. I remember when my dad was facing such and such, or the man in my life, and he resulted to Christ and his principles, and this is what happened. Amen. I can expect those kind of results yeah. from a living God. Yeah. Practice godly character. Yeah. On that call, it speaks for itself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? I don't promise what I can't keep. Mm. I'll think about it. I'll go that far. I'll make a decision, but not right with you, because if I don't, then I lie to you. And that's the way you're going to take it, even if it ain't true. Hello? And if I make a promise and something happens that interferes with it, I'm going to give full disclosure to you. I absolutely intended to do that. But this, 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 and this happened, and I was stuck and couldn't do a thing about it. And I'm asking you to please forgive me. Pardon me. I can't control everything. Mm. Yeah. Love a wife. I love to say this. The greatest thing any man can do for his children is love their mother. Now, I know that there's all of a sudden, we don't have time going to all the other little things that, that mess up with, with relationships. I, I can't go there. Mm. But if you're in the house with the woman, the greatest thing you can give your kids, especially your son, is to love their mother. That's mm. right. Mm. If you love their mother and everybody else's mother, what do you think you're telling the court? <laughs> Protect. They're children. They're watching. They're watching. You can't you can talk to my mama like that. First what? Rule number one. If my daddy hear you talk to my mother like that, he will smack your lips across the room. Yeah. You say, oh, the Christian talking all this violent. No, the Christian talking life. Mm. Man, say me, man. If Freedom was my wife, she couldn't talk to me like that. I said, if Freedom was your wife, she couldn't talk to me like that neither. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so my mother would say to that one, now put that in your pipe and smoke. <laughs> protect their children. Men, protect their children. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Men, protect their children. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And I don't, you know, we don't have time for that, but there's a whole lot of ways to do it. Yeah, you're going to learn how to read. Yeah. You're going to talk about fighting all night. No. Yes, you're going to learn how to read. Why? Because I'm protecting you. That's why. Yeah. I send you out here in this world, you're equipped, you're going to get eaten up. Mm. I'm priming you for the prison house. Let you know nothing, can't do nothing. Let you slide the easy ride. I'm turning you over to the wicked one. Mm. And I refuse to do it. Yeah, man. I don't know. Mm. All right. I'm going to leave one on you just because I know we're reading. Oh, Jesus, help me. All right, watch this. My wife told me don't get wound up. But she was right. Because the clock ain't the only thing winding. She said, I mean, uh, my son. He hit a certain age. I think it was 17. And I said, come here, man. Oldest one. I said, oh. All the rules of curfew are suspended. And he was like, yay! <laughs> you too old for rules. All right, then. No, 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 you used to have to come home at a certain time yeah. and leave 
your voice and come home. Because daddy says so. Mm -hmm. uh, I say, well, see, daddy got a little teeny bit of wisdom. He knows that for every rule he has, he has to be the enforcer. I got to be the policeman. Yeah. I said, no, no, no. All rules are off. I'm not the cop in your life. I said, you pretty, pretty mature for a young man. I said, from now on, you will come home because you decided it's time to come home. Mm -hmm. I'll know in an instant if I just made a mistake by your choice. Mm -hmm. Your boys can't laugh at you no more and say, Daddy making you go home. No, it's from now on, it's going to be you walking because you want to. Ah. Mm -hmm. Show me what you got, son. You my man, you my boy. Show me what you got. Brother broke into the house at a decent hour for a 17 year old. I had said nothing. Hello? Man to son. Son gonna be man. We have no rules no more. If you haven't learned what I taught you in 17 years, you are never going to learn. And if you be a fool, you force me to get my stick. That's not a relationship. Let's have one. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He said, why you do that? Because man, they tend to me. That's why. Use their strengths, their gifts, and their abilities, and have fun doing it. That, that's each one's job. I'm going to give you a man to just read this stuff. You know what pains me? I wish I could pull one black man in America and run his thing down when I'm getting ready to read and finish with. There's only one reason I can't. Slavery jacked that up and robbed us. One our fault. I, I, I'm not, you know, just listen to me. If there were those who would have been more consistent as the man in the house, you know that messed it up. Hello? You say, well, what's that got to do with anything? Well, walk out your door if you live in anywhere near the black neighborhood. <laughs> Look around. That's what it's got to do with it. Hello? Generation after generation after generation after generation after generation after generation.
That, that's not your formula every day. You can make a difference. You have to set your own schedule, your own plan. I'm not here to give you one. We can turn this thing around. I'm tired of white folks writing news, excuse me, John, white folks writing newspapers telling me about my boys. Yes. Yes. Ain't doing nothing about my boys. Yes. Oh, come on, y'all help me out. I'm all by myself. Yes, I'm sick and tired of all the statistical reports. Yes. I agree with you. Yes. I ain't blaming nobody. I step up and say, I'm here. Yes. I got two sons who ain't nothing like me. And I got three rents on the floor. Mm. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear me? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Two sons don't want me nothing like me. Three grandsons who can't be enough. Mm. <laughs> Do you hear me? Because yeah. I'm there. Yeah. I hear them, and they hear me. Yeah. I respect them, they respect me. Yeah. We can do it. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's my message. We can do it. We can make the difference. Yes, we can do it. Mm. Double shift and all. We can do it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Somebody get this high.